Welcome to www.learnquickbooksfree.com. That's right. This is where you get to learn QuickBooks for free. Hello, everyone. Today's video is going to be on yet another question posted on our QuickBooks forum and yet another video response for free. How cool is that? And uh, today's question comes from Mary Mary O'Contrary. Mary writes to us, I have vendors that I bill as customers for warranty work. They pay us in credits, but I need their credit to pay their customer side invoice and still be able to use it as a credit to the vendor side bill. How can I do that without doing a journal entry? Well, this is you know a perfect example of barter accounting. That's right. This is where you kind of trade services or goods, uh, where either no money is exchanged or partial money is exchanged. So let's go over to QuickBooks and let's see one way to tackle this. So we are here in QuickBooks 2013. That's right. I have the latest. I got the greatest. And if you don't, well, visit our website as we do throw contests, different kinds, and we have been giving away free QuickBooks 2013 softwares. In any case, the first thing you want to do is open up a bank account called Barter Account. So, two ways to do it. Go to List, Chart of Accounts, go to Account, New, select Bank, hit Continue, and you can put the information here. Or, let me cancel out, I'll show you option number two. If you happen to be under banking, write checks. This little drop down menu, add new. Ta da! We got ourselves a bank. We're going to call it Barter Account. And hit save and close. Now that we've set up the bank account, here is how to use it in this situation. Um, so, we're going to go to customers and we will go to invoice for example or we can go to sales receipt so let's just do that instead I'm gonna create a new customer job call let's say your vendor is called ABC company but I'm gonna call this one customer dash customer because it's gonna be on the customer side so you cannot use the same title up here uh, for both on the vendor and customer side so uh, you can, however, when you set it up, have the same information over here. So I'm going to hit OK for now. And the idea is, uh, once you put in the rest of the information, the main thing is you want to deposit it to that barter account. Okay, so that's step number one, is when you get what you're supposed to get from them as credits, you can do it in this format and deposit it to the barter account and when it comes to paying them you do have credit so you're going to use that barter account as well so if you go to list chart of accounts we didn't do anything but if you look at the barter account you will see some kind of amount over here where you have a credit to use okay so when it comes to paying the bills and let's say that vendor was the one the ABC company for example the main idea is this account you're using this barter account to basically monitor how much credit you have left to use or if you have no credits to use at all. And that's really one way to go about it. I hope this video helps. Any more questions, pop it in the forum. Visit our contest. We're giving stuff away. A lot of cool stuff on our website. We appreciate all the good feedback. And see you on the next video. And that concludes this lesson. Uh, you can visit our website at www.learnquickbooksfree.com to watch more videos.